Hello, welcome to this general election candidate forum live streamed to YouTube and co-sponsored by the Daily Record newspaper and the League of Women Voters. My name is Charlie Sorensen and I am the Voter Services Chair for the League of Women Voters Kittitas County. Founded in 1920, the League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan organization with 800 affiliates across the country. It encourages informed and active participation in government, works to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and influences public policy through education and advocacy. The League never endorses or opposes candidates or political parties at any level. We don't care how you vote, only that you vote. League membership is open to all genders, ages 16 and over, and we invite you all to join us. Our moderator for this candidate virtual forum event is Catherine Murphy. Catherine has been a member of the League since 2017, where she has filled a variety of roles at the state and local level. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Charlie. I'm very pleased to moderate our candidate forums for the 2020 general election. These events offer voters the opportunity to hear candidates directly respond to community questions. The League of Women Voters records and retains a full unedited copy of all candidate forums. If any portion of a League forum is redistributed out of context to make a candidate appear to say something they did not say, or are edited to make a candidate look bad, or in any way they did not actually look at the original forum, then the League of Women Voters will alert the media, provide the unedited video for comparison, and file appropriate complaints with any applicable governing agency. As we begin, I want to note that our ballot should arrive by October 16th. Please call the auditor's office if you don't receive yours by then. You still have time to register or change your address. You can do so online until October 26th and in person at the auditor's office through 8 p.m. on Tuesday, November 3rd. Your ballot must be postmarked on or before November 3rd. There are nine ballot drop boxes throughout Kittitas County. In addition to tonight's live stream event, the recording will be on the Kittitas County League YouTube channel. We thank the following media partners for also sharing these forums, the Ellensburg Daily Record newspaper, Ellensburg Community Television, Spectrum, Channel 191, and Inland Networks. We've discussed the ground rules for the forum with the candidates prior to today's event. My job is to keep us on time and on task, which means that if a candidate goes past their time, I will move us along. The candidates have the opportunity to make a 60-second opening statement. Then we will ask five prepared questions that we source from the community. We provided these questions to the candidates two hours ago, and they will have 60 seconds to respond to each question. Then we will move to three live stream audience questions. The candidates will have 90 seconds to respond to each of these questions. The forum will conclude with a 60 second closing statement by each candidate. If you're viewing this live, you can submit a question by texting to 509-654 9030. The questions must be for both candidates. League members will review the questions. We may combine or edit them for clarity, nonpartisanship, and time limitations. So for tonight's forum, which is on the public utility district commissioner uh, job, commissioners serve a six-year term. They ensure the district continues to deliver affordable, dependable electricity to rural and urban areas. The commission establishes policy, approves plans, budgets, and expenditures, and reviews the district's operations. The legal responsibilities and powers of the district, including the establishment of rates and charges for services rendered, are exercised through the commission. I would like to welcome Rick Catlin and Pat Kelleher to this forum. Thank you both for taking the time to be with us and thank you for your willingness to serve our community as public utility district commissioner in District 1. As we start, we discussed earlier, I will alternate who answers the questions first. We will begin with uh, Rick Catlin, and you have 60 seconds to make your opening statement at this time. Hello, my name is Rick Catlin, and I'm running for PUD commissioner. District 1. I've been an electrician since 1983, 
and in 1984, I started with my wife, Tara, an electrical contracting business. Operated that business with several full-time employees until 16, when we sold it to our sons. I can continue to work part-time because I love what I do. Kittitas County PUD is a vital part of the growth and success of Kittitas County. I'm running for District 1 Commissioner to help continue that success. I feel that I'm in a unique position because as an electrical contractor, I've worked with all three electrical utilities in the Valley on behalf of farmers, ranchers, homeowners, and business owners alike. And I've seen both the strong points and things I think can be improved on moving forward in a great partnership Thanks. with the same people. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kelleher, you have 60 seconds to make your opening statement. Thanks, Catherine. <clears throat> Pat Kelleher, and I'm running for PUD commissioner. This month, I want to remind everybody in Kittitas County that can vote for this position that you are the owners of Kittitas PUD. When you open your electrical bill this month, whether from PSE, the city of Ellensburg or Kittitas PUD, you are going to pay over $100 per 1,000 kilowatts of electricity. Now, there's a way next month for you to pay less, a lot less, as little as $34. And that is to uproot your family and move to Chelan County. My wife, Peggy, and I, we were born in Kittitas County. We went to school in Kittitas County. We raised our family in Kittitas County and we live in Kittitas County. I know how to pay less for electrical rates. Own a dam on the mid Columbia. I want your vote so that we can prepare for to compete for Rock Island Dam in 2023 and bring electrical rates to pay less in Kittitas County. Thank you. Thank you. 